Say, can't nobody go through it for me, but me. And you ain't never lied about that, family. And at the end of this, <laughs> what you mean by go outside? You gonna see, just peep the faith. Don't let sin trap you in. Don't let your circumstances and situations hold you down. It's like go outside until the rain, you know, when that first rain comes and the rain drops hit your face. That's how I need the Holy Spirit to saturate me. I wanna go outside today in the rain. The Heavenly Father, let heavenly showers rain down on me. Rain down, rain. Shower down a fresh anointing and make us clean. Make us clean. Almighty, you're higher. You're my everything. everything. Ooh, outside my comfort zone. Standing in the rain, waiting on you to come and take me home. I'm pressing in. Press Father, I want to feel your presence. I'm sending up the praises. You're sending down the blessings. In Christ, I find my rest in. So tell me why I'm stressing. I'm all the way invested. Ain't no need for eating. Isaiah 54 and 17 reads no weapon Form that gets me shall prosper Y'all should already know what the rest is Children of the promise Please know that that you've been beckoned you, I pray you receive the message Cause the time message. is of the essence The light of your shine Shining through us like a progressive Got that hidden treasure Our vessel Go outside in the rain And see what's in store for me Heavenly Father Please rain down heavenly showers upon your people Holy Spirit fill this place and rain down on me Please us and open our eyes So we will behold the Father's majesty Go outside in the rain And see what's in store for me Heavenly Father Please rain down heavenly showers upon your people Holy Spirit fill this place And rain down on me Please us and open our eyes So we will behold the Father's majesty No matter what they say No matter what they do I'm always looking forward to sending presents up to you And these experiences that I'm experiencing Is quite humbling But I believe that you can put me through Maybe I lost everything And even if I do my mind's mad I still choose you Now when did this happen to you? Uh, Is it when you find the devil the real Jews? Nah, it really begin when I begin to stand on this word and proclaim the truth Cause walking in truth is not something you say out your mouth It's something that you do Sometimes I wonder if I'm paying for the decisions I made off in my youth You talk about persecution like it's cool while some of us really going through it Then I get in the booth reporting for duty real time Bringing you the truth, the father reproves those that these loves It's not always easy going through it Especially when you the one that's really going through it He the one that's comfortable in his life He the one that's ready to move I hope you praying for me cause I've been praying for you real talk for That you. we don't miss our cue real talk Sometimes we sing sometimes But like the Father a higher, a sharp a higher We show enough, show enough, make it do what it do I wanna go outside in the rain and see what's in store for me Heavenly Father, please rain down heavenly showers upon your universe Holy Spirit fill this place and rain down on me Please us and open our eyes so we will behold the Father's majesty Go outside in the rain and see what's in store for me Heavenly Father, please rain down heavenly showers upon your people. Holy Spirit, fill this place and rain down on me. Turn the sun open our eyes so we may behold the Father's majesty. To make it in these last days, he's, he's, he's going to increase my warfare by degrees. He increases, the Bible says, where sin abound grace. Do it much more abound. So as he increases my, as the warfare increases, he increases the grace also. But I must understand that in order for me to make it, for me not to fall by the wayside or be overcome with amazement of what I'm seeing coming on the world, then he's going to have to uh, increase me or stretch me in areas of pressure and discomfort. So that the little foxes that's gonna destroy most folks won't destroy me. I move beyond fighting the foot. You'll catch it when you get home. You have to move beyond the foot and be prepared to fight the horse. So if he's going to get me ready for the life, he's got to give me the degree of the life and the degree of the birth first. Because nobody is ready for the life without the incremental degree that stretched me on one level. And the stretching told him I'm qualified for the next trial, not the next blessing, the next test. Most people will not make it because they ran from the fiery furnace that was, that, that was used by the Most High to toughen you to adversity. Yes. 
so that when the real trial comes, talk to me. I mean, you right on. You're prepared. You're tough enough. Yes, sir. Your knuckles are hard enough. Say amen. Your, your, your arms are strong enough. You have a, a, a intricate knowledge of your arm. I receive it. You live in a state of readiness. This is why most people not, I'm telling, I love everybody, but it's coming down to every man for himself. Every man must work out their own salvation with fear and trembling. Like it reads in Philippians 2 and 12. He's going to increase my warfare by degrees. That was a powerful word, Pastor Darby. I praise the Father for you. May he continue to bless and keep you and your family. Now I'm going to bring out a couple scripts on the Shabbat. We talk about this dry land, the dry bones. Ezekiel 37 and 1. And the hand of the Most High was upon me, and he carried me out in the spirit of the Most High. Read. And set me down in the midst of the valley, which was full of bones, and caused me to pass by them round about. And behold, there were very many in the open valley, and lo, they were very dry. Did you hear that? Wow. What that mean? That simply means that, come on with it, come on with it. They were destitute of that life substance, the rain, the rain. that only can come with the fresh wind. The breath of the Most High, when he breathes through a rock with Dosh into the valley of dry bones and revives and revive. Come on, we quam it now. Let's get some more. Verse 3. And he said unto me, Son of man, can these bones live? And I answered, O Most High, a higher, thou knowest. Verse 4. Again he said unto me, Prophesy upon these bones and say unto them, O ye dry bones, hear the word of the Most High. Verse 5. Thus saith the Most High Ahiah unto these bones, Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you, and ye shall live. Woo! Okay, now let's go ahead and jump down to verses 7. So I prophesied as I was commanded, and as I prophesied, there was a noise, and behold, a shaking, and the bones came together, bone to his bone. Verse 8. And when I behold, lo, the sinews and the flesh came upon them, and the skin covered them above, but there was no breath in them. Still dry, right? Verse 9. Then said he unto me, Prophesy unto the wind, prophesy, son of man, and say to the winds, Thus saith the Most High, Ahiah, Come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon these slain, that they may live. Verse 10. And final verse, before I end with Ezekiel 37 and go over to Deuteronomy, Chapter 32. Y'all thought y'all was getting off that easy? Let's bring this out. So I prophesied as he commanded me, and the breath came into them, and they lived and stood up upon their feet, an exceeding great army. Woo! Woo! Then, I know I said it. Let me bring one more out. You got to take your time. Okay, verse 11. Then he said unto me, Son of man, these bones, remember, the very, very dry ground, are the whole house of Israel. Behold, they say our bones are dry, and our hope is lost. We are cut off from our parts. Now, so when you see the brothers out here prophesying, and you see the pastors that the Most High has given to us, I'm not talking about, you know, these ones that the seminary colleges have set up. I'm talking about the men of the Most High that He has sent. When you see them out there prophesying and breathing life, it's the Holy Spirit that's bringing down that rain on them and causing them to stand, the whole house of Israel, as an exceeding great army. And so that's why it brings great pleasure to me, even though I'm going through it. And I want you brothers and sisters to hear me clearly. I didn't put this information out and bring this song forth talking about the lyrics and the songs and the things that the Holy Spirit has put on me because I wanted someone to feel sorrow or wanted some type of sentiment or what would you, how would you say it? Someone's sympathy. That's not even the purpose. I simply brought it forth because this is what the servants of the Most High must do. Yeah, da, a high. Gotta give him praise. And I'm gonna read Deuteronomy 32. And I'm gonna start at verses 1 and I'm gonna jump down. I'm gonna read all the way down to verses 4. And we're gonna end with that. And I'm gonna wish you a blessed and happy Shabbat. Alright? Deuteronomy 32 and verse 1. Give ear, O ye heavens, 
and I will speak and hear, O earth, that's the inhabitants of the earth, that's us, the words of my mouth, verse 2, my doctrine shall drop as the rain, as the rain. Mm. did you hear that, my speech shall distill the dew, as the small rain upon the tender herd, and as the showers upon the grass, verse 3, because I will publish the name of the Most High, all praise to the High. Ascribe ye greatness unto our God. Verse 4. He is the rock. His work is perfect. For all his ways are judgment. A power of truth and without iniquity. Just and right is he. Salah and Amarah. Shalom, family. Let's go out into the rain. Into the rain.